All right, you guys. So we are gonna go ahead and waffle off the one-off. And I call it a one-off because I don't know how many times I'm going to make a knife this big. Um, by this big, the overall is 19 and a half inches. That's from tip to butt or end of antler. The blade is 12 inches in total length. And it's, I think, 5 30 seconds thick. It's 8670s. 8670 steel from yeah 8670 steel from Pops Knife Supply. Um, this antler was picked up from NY Shed Antler. All right. This a little bit about this knife is I kind of just I kind of just winged it. I guess you would say. Um, I wanted to make a big knife, but I didn't know how big, and I didn't know what kind of knife. So. I had the steel flat stock. I kind of cut it to shape a little bit and then I just went to town with the hammer and had a blast and uh, wore my arm out. You got your brass bolster up front and it's it's sanded to about a 400 grit. I don't polish brass bolsters just because that's a personal preference of my own. Um, you got a little bit of leather spacers there stacked together and of course your antler and it is held in as you can see with two brass pins. Now, this is a hidden tang. Your tang means it goes inside the handle. The tang comes to about right here and stops, and it's completely packed full of uh, G-Flex epoxy glue, which is some amazing stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and use it a little bit before one of you guys win it in a waffle. And why are we gonna do that? Because I like chopping things with big knives. And we'll hit it from the other side. And it's getting ready to snap. That'll do. Let go. Jerk. All right, there you go. Like I said, I wanted to have a little bit of fun with it. Chops wonderfully. Now, of course, it is a hidden tang. Um, it's not like you would expect with a full tang knife. You can go to town with it all the time. That's just how all hidden tang knives are. You do have that risk, I guess you would say. Now with the waffle, it'll be the same as any other time. We will post it. It'll probably be along with this video. It'll be 25 spots. However, instead of $15 a spot, this one will be $20 a spot because this is using up a lot of material as well as used up a good bit of time. And the leather that it's gonna take is gonna be it's gonna be a lot of leather. So, I mean, look how big it is. Now, I don't have the sheath done for it yet, and I don't suspect this raffle to fill up super duper fast, but I could be wrong. And uh, I will let you know right now in advance, as soon as it gets full, we're gonna go live, we're gonna get us our winner, and then you'll probably be waiting on me just to get the leather done, which hopefully I can get it done within a week or two. Um, just, just to be 100% honest and straightforward with you guys. So, yeah, this thing's awesome. Plus, I want to take more pictures with it. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Things. Ah! See that boy? He wants to get in the video, too. That's what that boy does. I mean, anyway, having fun with it. That's what we all got to do. Have fun with it. Uh, anyway, yeah, so... I will post up everything you need to know about the waffle right in the description with this video. Uh, good luck. And yeah, I can't wait until whoever gets this. It's definitely going to be a good one. Um, I really debated hard on keeping it just because I would like to use this for my uh, 
you know, I know some of you guys are going to like zombies, but hey, look at this freaking awesome. This would be a great zombie slayer, wouldn't it? Just, or, cha, or whatever. Yeah, I'm that kind of person. I like to have fun in life. <laughs> well, maybe if I hit the right spot. All right, guys, good luck.